weekend, everyone. Thanks. That is going to be an awesome matchup to watch at the X, and Syracuse wins the opening draw. Brett Kennedy, who turns 24 years old today, scoops it up and gets it back to Jacob Fopp, who has now taken 331 consecutive faceoffs for Syracuse. Change at the top for the Orange. Number nine, Jackson Burtwistle, is starting in place of Mikey Berkman as Gary Gate tries to rev the engine of this offense. This is the superstar, Tucker Dordovic, one of 25 nominees for the Tawaraton, and he puts the Cuse on the board first. He's going after one of the top defenders in the nation in Cole Kastner. Dordovic has ice in his veins, incredible confidence, and ridiculous skill. You see, he drives above goal line extended. Once he feels topside pressure from Cole Kastner, Kastner fights to get upfield with Dordovic, and then right there's the roll. Understanding body Pete lacks rat. Like, the game means a ton to him. It is Fop and LaSala again, and Fop is two for two for the Orange, but they give it away, and UVA takes advantage. Connor Schellenberger says, look what I found, and we're tied at one. This is crushing for the Orange. Dordovic gets you on the board, and Fop, who's been so tough at the X, grinds out the win. And then just a careless pass. February at Klockner, they scored 24 different who's had a hat trick. And yeah, they were healthy back then. A little banged up. The health of Schellenberger and Matt Moore. The one-two punch. Schellenberger on the dodge and the setup. Tic-tac-toe and Griffin shuts. Rings the pipe and makes it 2-1 who's. You know, Schutz is a battering ram of a bull-dodging freshman midfielder, but he shows you some range here. Once again, Jeff Connor, to me, and we did the game against North Carolina down in Charlottesville a few weeks ago. He is a conductor, quarterback backman like Connor Schellenberg. The screen from Moore. Connor, low shot goes. 3-1 Cavs, and they're rolling at the Dome. I think this guy is one of the most underrated players in college lacrosse because of his ability to operate behind the cage as a midfielder. I mentioned he just takes these defenders out of their comfort zone. And when you put a short stick on Jeff Connor, he absolutely feasts. You got all of these top players with Schellenberger and Moore and Griffin shuts, but it's Jeff Connor who can make it rain too. Box lacrosse background, it's the quick release, right? It's the catch and turn and shoot all in one motion. There's more comfortable operating from X on the setup. Peter Garno has a cannon, and it's four straight for the Cavs from four different players. You have to know the personnel. If you're Virginia, Garno has not found his groove in terms of shooting from the outside, but he probably is the most feared outside shooter on this Cavalier offense when he's in a groove. We saw it down the a team. They're four and eight. They're out of playoff consideration. It doesn't matter for Curry. He knows how to play one way, full gas. Buttermore. Noons had it for a second, scooped up by Cole Sostad, one of the captains, and UVA will clear it again. Noons has stood tall. It leads to offense for UVA and five straight goals. Jack Peel on a pull goal. It starts here with a Noons save, the freshman. Cole Sawstead does a great job in terms of scooping up that ground ball and starting transition. And Peel says, all right, you're going to pick me up late? Bam! Right on Bobby Gavin, who was on this Virginia team in the first semester. 5% of the time, best mark in the ACC for UVA. Syracuse breaks the pressure, and Burt Whistle takes advantage. A much-needed goal for the Cuse, and it's back to a three-goal deficit. Think of it in hoops, Drew. If you beat the full-court press, there's the opportunity to score. Matt Magnin has 
A couple guys draped all over him at the midfield, but all of the defenders are upfield, kind of supporting where the ball's coming from. That allows... Alex Kakemo who's only a freshman. 28 in white, so in terms of experience, that's big. That went in. Ringing the pipe and scoring again. It's all who's here at the Dome. And give it to Matt Moore, his first goal today. This is an absolute hammer. We're going to freeze it in just a moment here. You see Virginia's working the ball. Freeze it right here, okay? You have Matt Moore on the right side of the screen. Where's the Syracuse defense? So Moore understands that. We're going to roll it right now. And he steps up and hammers it, right? So he gets the defense to freeze. Lack of communication in terms of understanding where ball rotation is, Drew. And they camp him out on that far right side, and he hammers it. Order to go. Again, only seven shots on goal for UVA, six goals. These guys are snipers, including Moore. Just scored one off the pipe, missed that time. Moore can hammer it. Woo. Last chance for Syracuse, Dordovic with five, bullseye! He started the first quarter with one, now he ends it with another. Give him the touches. Get a little lucky if you're cute. Matt Moore, little giddy up. Top crossbar, moves the cage with that hammer. Cuse, we talk about the defensive ground balls for Virginia. They recognize the clock in the cage. Out of their typical comfort zone from up top. There's a lot going on there. Low shot, bang. Jackson Burtwistle has two today. Welcome to the starting lineup, number nine. So chew on this for a little bit, right? Burt Whistle, redshirted last year. He's only a freshman eligibility. And he's showing the ability to finish the rock, right? With a high crease rip right there. You put him around guys like Owen Hiltz and Joey Spilina and Finn Thompson next year. He Garthel, that one had to be super weird. On the turnaround, Buttermore buries it. It's a one goal game. We've seen two question mark dodges. Dordovic in the first, now Buttermore. So you get your man above goal line extend. You feel topside pressure, and that's where you roll. Once you feel they're definitely going to be in consideration. Is there a big difference between top four and top uh, eight? Yes, it's called the University of Maryland, right? If you're, if you're the Bingo. fourth seed, though, you, you have to play the one in the semifinals. So you could argue. That you don't want to deal with that bracket. Is it better this year to be a six seed than a four or five? Why? Because then you don't play Maryland in the semifinals. There's Jeff Connor with his second goal today. Three points for the senior out of PA. I'm so impressed with this guy. We did the game together when they played North Carolina. Jeff Connor is, is the glue of this offense along with Schellenberger and Moore, right? Those are the three guys in terms of creating offense, always finding a way. And Moore yeah, he doesn't beat his man there. Does he? Does it warrant a slide? Again, Moore, lots of room. How did he feed that to Dixon? Xander Dixon, one of the slickest players in college lacrosse, cashes in. There are two incredible moves here in this goal. One is Matt Moore. Watch here. The little hitch there, dusts the defense, and then Dixon does the same to increase his angle. Peyton Cornier is a, a finishing attackman, but you saw him hustling and giving it his all to, to press the defender. Moore with space and another one. Matt Moore tags it up top. He's got two. He's awesome. This is why Matt Moore's talent is undeniable. I'm just shocked at how well he's moving. This is a guy with a lower leg injury. Just wasn't moving at all last week against Duke. Like, I'm shocked at how well he's, he's moving up in the dome. He's slinging from the outside. He shows you his two-hand ability. He hit that on the run left-handed. Do you remember on the other side of the field what he was doing? Planting rips with the right hand. You might want to ask yourself, do I need a tetanus shot? <laughs> But I would eat one. I would too. 
Curry, Chef Curry making sweet magic on the field. It's a tasty shot. I was just talking about Matt Moore and the elite players in college lacrosse, Drew, have the two hands, right? Because then you have options. You face your defender, square him up, you're off hand. Him and his brother Paul, the, the, the best behind the back passers you'll see. The best pass I've ever seen in college lacrosse was Paul Gate. 1989, national championships. He fed Greg Burns on the point, who stuck it by Greg Kessler. Cormier sticks it past Thompson. It's a 10 spot for the Hoos in this first half with the flags on the field. This is kind of all feeding into what I was saying, right? You remember the two-handed player? If you're a one-handed Canadian like Peyton Cormier, what did I have to say before? You have to use your shoulders properly. You have to slip underneath the defender to continue upfield so you don't decrease your angle too much. Cormier isn't splitting Goal's left good. right. Push is wiped out. Goal's good. Even face. Cross players, their foundation, they're not groomed that way. They play in space. LaSala wins it cleanly, keeps his footing. Petey LaSala scores! No contact this time. He's the ninth goal scorer for the Cavs in this first half. Virginia goal. There's no way they've had a conversation with him. Don't shoot Petey, right? He only knows one way. This is a guy who squats 600 pounds. He benches well over 300 pounds. When he sees... What do you want to see from Syracuse here? I want to see what I've seen all season long when they're successful. It's, it's Curry up top or it's Dordovic from the wing. But I think Virginia knows the slide rotation. And the Orange cash in. It's Bird Whistle again with a hat trick in his first start. This is masterful by Brendan Curry, understanding the slide. So we're gonna roll this right here. We're gonna freeze right now, okay? You have these two players for Virginia in a conflict zone. Curry recognizes that, we'll roll right now. Now, he becomes a passer, right? On his prior dodging move, he went to the cage, lefty down the alley, there was no slide. This time, Virginia's really concerned about him, right? So there's two guys that are uncertain what to do. This is year one in Gary Gate, like you have to establish yourself as a playmaker. Jackson Burkus is doing that today. No doubt. Schellenberger feeds it. Dixon bounces it home. Xander Dixon with his second goal of the afternoon. It's a 12 spot for UVA in this first half. You hit on this, Drew, and you're so right. Like, there's so many options and weapons. You saw Xander Dixon on his earlier goal in the second quarter making a great hitch move to increase his angle. This time he's cutting. And when Connor Schellenberger has the ball behind goals today is Jackson Burt Whistle. And I think he's an interesting piece because all those guys you're mentioning like can make plays on their own. And he doesn't need the ball. Like you don't want six guys out there that all want the ball. You gotta share the sugar. Here comes Syracuse off the faceoff win. Bullseye! Don't blink, you'll miss it. Syracuse scores 16 seconds in. So Matt Ward, who won the Tuorton in 2006, we were texting at halftime, and he knows the game super, super well. The one thing he said to me, Virginia's wings need to be better. Well, guess what Syracuse just did? They beat Virginia's wings, and Carter Rice is a wing player for Syracuse. Relax on ESPN. Wait, wait, talk, uh, he's too big, he's too yes. big, he's just too big. Chris Cloutier, bingo. You read my mind, Kirk. Five to shoot for the Hoos. Connor's gonna try to make it happen. The feed, the goal! Hat trick for Xander Dixon as the shot clock winds. Another elite feed by Jeff Connor. Okay, we're going to freeze it right here. Jeff Connor is at the top of the screen. Look at the vision in terms of his passing ability. Let's roll it right now. Look at this pass. He just understands where the pressure is and throws that across his body to the low pipe. That is an exceptional pass by Jeff Connor.
Con Griffin shuts. Opposing teams have four long sticks to play with. Jeff Connor gets the shorty, and he absolutely feasts. Here's Garno. Patty Mack on the rebound. Patrick McIntosh is the 10th goal scorer for Virginia today. Everyone's invited to the party. We got to crash the boards. Garno shows you the left-handed shot. That's a good save by Thompson. But McIntosh knows, okay? Crash the boards just like in hoops. Understand that you need to turn around and pick up the loose change. That's a box out on yes, a lot of more. Yes, that is a an aggressiveness is in their DNA in terms of chasing opposing teams' attackmen, too. I love what Lars Tiffany told us earlier this week. Kate Sostad is like a grumpy granddad. That's how he described it. Connor, that's in. Jeff Connor has himself a hat trick to go with two assists. It's a five-point day for the senior. Are you sold on him yet? Absolutely, Carl. Absolutely. Look, what, what can he do? So they're forcing him to go left to his weak hand, but he drops his foot hard in the turf behind at X and still gets his strong right hand. Like he, he's great face-offs before today, and he's taken every one today. Lasala, give him another one. Face-off specialist? No, sir. This guy's got game. Watch after the shot. You got the little Petey flex. Wins the draw, gives it to his boy, Danny Parker. Matt Moore knows when 23 in blue sets his feet the top. Good save, Thompson. You've got to be careful if you're Syracuse being that aggressive when you're, you're down a man. What a backup by Matt Moore. You would have no idea that this guy's been banged up. He just Superman for that backup. Schellenberger. Oh, yeah! Shell, yes! There's the range. We haven't seen that in a few weeks, and he's been nicked up. But as this Cavalier offense gets to full strength, Connor Schellenberger's stretch shooting will be a must. Here's Griffin shots with a long runway, matched up with Sam Alexo. Physicality is free here. Eyes always up for exactly. one Exactly, I was thinking the same thing, right? Like his eyes are always dissecting the layers of the defense. Two-man game, more to Connor, up top shuts. It's just too easy. That's why they call it execution. You know, a lot of teams have playmakers. Virginia has playmakers that are passers, right? Like the ball moves at hot potato speed, right? Just in the stick, out of the stick. Heads are up. And Connor, with three goals and three assists for the six points, has been masterful. The first time since 07. If you have a losing record, you're not eligible for the NCAA tournament. Good feed. Wow, bird whistle. It's a highlight real goal in his fourth of the day. You know Curry's not going away. You know Dordovic's not going away. Look at the feed by 16 in white. Brendan Curry in the backhand. This is a perfect shot for a couple of reasons. He feels the pressure, right, of the defense. He's losing his angle. By wrapping that behind his back, essentially it gives you the same angles if you shot lefty. You can't shoot lefty there because you'd have to shoot through the defense. So you rip it BTB. I believe there's a spot for nine and white. You can fit in anywhere. Dordovic, yes. Tucker Dordovic, two goals in a row for Syracuse. Patrick for 23 is 45th of the I recipe for too. Brendan Curry. I know you do. He's got the speed, he's got the shooting, he's got the passing. I think the secret ingredient and the most important one for him, Clark, is what you're talking about, that compete level. Yeah, he loves the game. Syracuse strikes quickly, 10 seconds into the fourth quarter. Brandon Avilas has his first of the day. You want to drum up some offense off the faceoff, right? Jacob Fox scraps his way there, wins it himself. Avilas is behind him. And 
The Virginia team is just out of sorts. Like, no one's picking Avilas up. They don't want to leave. Or I'm a coach. I want to know, like, how invested is this player after four or five years of college to continue playing the game with a tremendous amount of passion, right? Because there's guys in the league, whether it's 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 Will Manny from the from the Archers or Grant Amen from the Archers, like these guys live and breathe lacrosse 365 days a year. It's on their mind daily. Those are the kind of guys you want. Jeff Connor bounces it home. Four goals for number four and seven points at the dome. A few weeks ago when we were down in Charlottesville against North Carolina, I thought he was the best player on the field. He's the best player on the field today. I don't think he's the best lacrosse player overall. I think Connor Schellenberger and Dordovic and Murray and, and, and Curry and, and guys like Matt in blue. You should be his agent, Kark. You love his game. Yes, he's got another year of college. LaSala, Moore, down low, bullseye. Hat trick for Matt Moore. It's a 20-piece for UVA. His shooting has been amazing. And if you remember in the second quarter, he hammers a couple of shots. One went in up top. And from that same release, now he's going low. He was low to high in the first half. Mm against the Syracuse goalies this time. Portis to Siebel. Curry, room, Ooh. and a hammer. Spicy from Brendan Curry. You can talk about the influx of talent coming next year in the Dome. They're going to miss this guy. Compete level off the charts, speed blinding. Hammers that shot from the outside. On a righty goalie, look at the placement of that shot. It just hammered. 30% zone now. They're clicking at about 43%. What a feed in front. Dixon stuffed. Here's more. Operating goal line extended. Schellenberger up top. Cormier, sharp angle doesn't matter. So dangerous here when he shows you range, just opens up his options too because we saw the underneath game from Cormier. Syracuse just a little bit late to rotate here. Virginia, nice job finding that next two on one. Yeah, it's, it's awesome, you know? I mean, like we talked about, West Metro area, Minneapolis, not exactly a lacrosse hotbed, even though Quentin Matsui is out here for Virginia out of Eden Prairie. This is a lacrosse hotbed. There's Owen Siebold out of Dallas with his first today. Syracuse trails by eight. Owen Siebold scores his first. He scores his first, but the pass by the hangry chef is off the charts. Look at this dart to the backside. Curry has brought his A game, but it's been all Cavaliers. Pretty school in the nation, and uh, Syracuse? Virginia has invited everyone up here. Ah. Here comes Syracuse in transition. Bird Whistle has a five spot. Came in with six goals on the season, Kark, he's got five today. Yeah. Big time finishers had little subtle type of tendencies in their shooting stroke. Right there, watch how he shoots to the near pipe on a righty goalie. There's hardly any margin at him. Came back and scored, what, 24 he points in their run? Yeah. yeah, he was a midfielder as freshman. So like, you have to, to find your spot. Buttermore. Siebel, high to low, and he scores. 15 goals for Syracuse. It's going to take a miracle to win this game, but they're putting up numbers. You know, they care in Central New York. This team is 4-8. and eight. There's a crowd here. They're not playing late in May this year. But lacrosse means something in Central New York because of the tradition and the history of the program. Owen oh, Seabold knows that. It's Father Bob played for Syracuse in the 1980s for legendary coach Roy Simmons Jr. on a team that's won yeah. the last two championships, but don't. They'll, they'll wake you up. 
from a nightmare. Virginia's offense was a nightmare to defend today. 21-15, the Hoos put up a 20 spot against Syracuse for the second time this season. That'll do it for us from the